Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and I've got some great Beyond Earth modding news for you. Two of the very best mods for Civilization V have now started to make their way over to Beyond Earth. Now that includes, first of all, in terms of an actual mod, Info Addicts, which if we use that, we can now get our global relations chart, a bunch of display options over here, stats, the world rankings, all kinds of different things, find out who has the highest number of technologies, all kinds of different stuff like that. A beautiful, beautiful mod that many people consider to be a must have for Civ 5 has now reached uh, beyond Earth and is just doing wonderfully. The uh, the graphics are a little glitchy on a few of these little bits, but they've just come out and I'm sure that's gonna, just gonna continue to be improved. And I'm really excited to have um, Info Addicts again, especially since there's no real way to find relationships between anyone in the game as is, uh, short of doing a little bit of stuff on the diplomacy screen. Um, so I'm really excited about that. It does need a little bit of work, but it seems to work perfectly fine. There will be a link down below in the description box uh, where you can go and subscribe to this on the workshop, so you'll automatically get updates for it as well. Um, the one uh, the one shortfall so far is if you do go into the diplomacy screen, no there's mercy. not a button to load up into Fax Addicts here, whereas there is in Civ 5. So hopefully that'll be the next thing they add in, but I'm really excited that this is back in. The other thing I'm really excited about is the better UI mod slash DLC that uh, I like to use a lot in uh, Civ 5 has now reached um, beyond Earth. And uh, a lot of the features are not yet enabled, but what there is, is if you mouse over a tile, instead of having the sort of pre-generated text, the pop-up here, the, um, the tooltip, is generated entirely from XML data and gives you a lot more information. For example, here on this tubers tile, it's letting me know all the things that could be built on here. I could build either a plantation or a terrascape on here, and it'll also tell me um, the different objects that I can build uh, or that, that would further improve it, uh, technology upgrades, that sort of thing. So for example, here on this paddock, is a, a very good example, rather on this uh, Resolin, if I build a paddock, I get plus one science. If I research alien life forms, that paddock will then give me an extra plus one culture, which is really, really, really handy to uh, to get. So it's just done by parsing the uh, all the data XML files for all the, the buildings and technologies, and it tells you everything that's upgraded. Still, I would prefer if... Um, if uh, Beyond Earth Civilopedia had all that listed, if you look up, say, a farm, for example, I had the same complaints about Civ 5, but having this tool again is super, super useful. Um, like, if we go and find some flat land, which we don't have any. Really? We have no flat land? Forest Tundra? Wow, what a weird place to uh, have a city. Tundra Hill. Do I seriously not have a flat piece of land so I can show the farming thing? That's Tundra. 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 What? <laughs> what is with the start? Forest grassland, there we go. Uh, although it's still not showing me a farm, maybe because there's still uh, forest on there. Grassland hill, plains, there we go, farms, hey! So we can find out that a farm would give plus one food. If we research industrial ecology, you'd get plus one production from it. Artificial evolution would give plus one science and vertical farming would have an extra food and energy. So you'll know right away, it's like, listen, if I wanna go farm crazy, if I research these three technologies, my farms, adding a farm on top of a tile will add two food, one hammer, one science, and one energy, which on this plains would result in a three food, two production, one science, one energy tile and that's pretty darn good. But then it shows you all the other things. So really excited about that. Um, I know that they're working on a few other things with the better UI. Uh, they're trying to get maybe the ribbon going back on again. Uh, there might be some things with the science. I'm not sure um, if that's the case. It'd be also nice to get a pop-up on every building that shows you the outcome of the various quests that you could potentially take. So here would be plus, culture plus two, and then you know either plus one culture or minus one maintenance or something. So hopefully... Uh, they will get that in there. But between these two mods, the Info Addicts, and just having more tooltips on your terrain, I'm just super, super pumped for having that sort of thing. I'm not sure if the uh, the better UI is, is fixing anything else. Um, but uh, but yeah, you know what? That's, that's good enough. I'm really excited. Check the link down below for both of those things. Do note that the Better UI DLC... It's like a fake DLC. It's not a mod. The changes that they make, they can't just mod in. So it's sort of a DLC you kind of sort of have to manually install. It's a bit of a pain in the butt, um, and hopefully you guys can figure it out. And do keep in mind, these are both very, very beta right now. Uh, they might break the game. They might not. I have no idea. Um, so far, it seems to be perfectly fine. So I'm excited for it. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.